I have one remark. I didn't feel like I should jump in to the fray in the middle of your talk. I mean, the, the, this bit about finding out where the cash line misses are, it's, it's just a first step, because you're certainly not going to know what to do to fix your cash line miss problem if you don't know that you have one and you don't know where it is. Um, it's similar with this with this memory, with detecting memory leaks, your first step is typically discover that you're leaking a particular type, and then your next question is, well, tell me more about this type. Well, I, you know, I think, though, that especially when you have a garbage collector, um, and there's some work at Intel that they, you know, published at PLDI this year, you're in a much better position to actually do it automatically in, in Java than, uh, than to allow the programmer to try to do it. Now, as Cliff said, I mean, if, if there's an algorithmic problem and you have to really change the algorithm, that's, that's one whole class of issues that you can uh, resolve, that, you know, the program has to be involved in. So let me just I was going to jump in and agree with you, so that I'll be short, but the point is, if you tell a guy he's got a cache problem, and he goes and starts to insert pad, right, yeah, sharing, right. you insert pad, then you just, you know, your, your application is no longer portable, you know, except for the you know, typical consistency of cache sizes around the world, but, but um, you're artificially hacking your Java code to, to overcome you, a problem which you, should have been wait, solved by the GC. The decision <laughs> that the programmer has made a decision to make his program less portable in order to run faster. And that's the right place for him to make that decision. Yeah. It's yeah. not your decision to make his code unportable. He's choosing himself. But let me make the following claim. That conflict misses are well dealt with by the garbage collector already. And there's even the capacity to make the garbage collector deal with it even better. And things like capacity misses and the inherent size of data structures and so on are not particularly well dealt with by the garbage collector and should be informed to the programmer. And so I think there is room for telling the programmer what cache misses are left over even after the garbage collector did its best. There's also cache misses due to dependency. I think in, in my talk, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about that. Uh, there isn't sort of any obvious way um, for the BM without actually a lot of extra knowledge and heavy lifting to figure that out. Um, and maybe there might be a need for providing some sort of intrinsics if the underlying hardware gives it to you. And a lot of times, the underlying hardware in an order for the execution alignment might not even be a whole And there's, there's some more cases in which the garbage collector can do nothing about conflict misses, right? If you have a megabyte array and somebody steps, uh, somebody only cares about every 1024th entry in the array, yeah. that's just yeah. a bad thing you're doing if you tell the program. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so if you look at the kinds of tools that people think are valuable enough to pay a lot of money for um, in for enterprise Java, um, things like uh, the Mercury Interactive X Performant tools are macro level tools. The, the problems that are most serious people have are we don't understand the data path, that data pass on this entire cluster acting as this giant app server. That's where people find the biggest performance problems right now in enterprise systems and, and telling them about cache misses is not going to help them. So that was why I was talking about trying to translate this data. I think that what we what we have is are the cache misses. What we have to do and what work with yeah. tool vendors, etc., on is how we display this data so it makes sense. We agree completely. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I think even the examples you gave were, were aiming too low. It, I think that the serious, the devastating, you know, the the uh, the business shattering kinds of problems people have are they just they have a, a rack full of stuff and they don't even know they don't even know what machines are doing what. So, well, not yeah. yeah, I think there is. Yeah. You know, how, how do you make the adaptive yeah. decisions between the collector strategies? What do I think? Okay. So that's a whole chapter in itself. Um, well, we can talk more about it. Yeah, I think we should. Uh, we can do that. I think it's a longer uh, okay. topic that we can follow. We can change. So I've, I've been working on it with some people at Santa Barbara. Okay. Uh, Shonda Prince. Yeah, and her students here also. I thought we were ready, but. Yeah. 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 Yeah.